massive Halo Infinite leaks, bro. The game is saved. Now, before we get into this, the video might get taken down, all right? I don't know exactly, like, what about it, but Microsoft has taken down videos in relation to this leak. I'm not gonna show anything sus in the video, but I'm just gonna go over the general news. But yeah, guys, incredible Halo Infinite news for like the future of Halo Infinite. I've been one of the only ones saying that they should just move on to Halo 7 because Halo Infinite is broken, but with these leaks, it seems like they're actually figuring out how to use Slipspace Engine effectively. And that's really all I could ask for. So let's just go right into it. The first one is Forge AI. The timing is impeccable. I just apologize for like telling people that it was confirmed and stuff, but bro, I mean, it's not 100% confirmed. Obviously things can change, but there's a team at 343 working on 4JI right now. Firefight is being worked on too. Now both these things are like very far away, but you know, just to know that they're actually working on it is all I could ask for. Apparently 20 new maps are in development, which you know, with Forge, I was okay with Forge just being the map creator, but if they want to add more maps, that's that's awesome. So yeah, new weapons and vehicles. Now, there's no confirmed like specific weapons or vehicles, but there are rumors that the Spartan laser will be coming out soon, and also the Pelican, which, yeah, that's just crazy, but yeah. Again, the fact that they're actually working on new weapons and vehicles is just good. You know, that's all I could ask for. Infection is making a return. And obviously this is the one that is getting the most attention. And it's not gonna be flood infection. It's not gonna be toxic infection. It's gonna be like an AI infection. So that's all I'm gonna say. I don't want this video get, getting taken down. These leaks, bro, honestly saved my hope for Halo Infinite. Like, I'm actually excited for the future now, and I don't just want them to move on to Halo 7. Like, if they can just keep this consistency, if they can find a way to just consistently give us content, you know, I like hearing 20 new maps, I like hearing more weapons and vehicles, if they can just keep this up, I'm honestly okay with them just sticking with Halo Infinite. 